hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti, microsoft dynamics 365 uh, professional this is the platform where i come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic and today's topic is uh, the next part in our functional consultant series and it is the next part in our uh, the topic which we started in the last video about the testing so in the last video we spoke about the test strategy and its component as a functional consultant we should be aware about those things but now in this video we are going to focus on the different test types which as a functional consultant you are responsible to perform so without further delay let's start uh, the topic uh, so let's move to the next one so this is a slide which you are aware which we have used in the last uh, video where we talked about the different uh, uh, the type uh, test types and the phases are there now these uh, different uh, uh, now these different test types uh, done and performed by the different uh, uh, people in the project but i have highlighted where the functional as a functional consultant you are responsible to perform and execute these test types so the key test types which you are responsible to perform are your function test the process test the performance test the end to end test and the regression test somewhere right but that does not mean that uh, the rest of the test types which you have in the project uh, they are not uh, i mean they you are not involved in that so you are part of those things so you are going to support them so for example in the future acceptance testing you will be part of uh, that and you will be supporting the users but the key stakeholders or, or the people who will be doing that will be your end users similarly the unit testing where the developer will be doing the testing but you also would will support in that because without your support i mean there might be some things which the developer might not be able to understand so all in all uh, the highlighted ones are the one where you are accountable and responsible to execute and in the rest of the types you are uh, possibly uh, 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 supporting um, while performing these test cases right so now uh, let's move to the next uh, slide on this and then uh, understand this why one example that how we can uh, perform these uh, different tests which we have in the uh, uh, in, in the project cycle so this is uh, uh, the slide which you already saw like these different test types are based on the different project phases which you are having where it is performed so now you are responsible for the functional test which is part of your build and design and build the process test the end-to-end -end test start from the design and build to and it goes to the uat you are responsible for that the performance and then the regression right so now let's understand this by one of the example here uh, for example the conteso is a distributor and installer of home electric electronic equipments now for this Let's say the sales orders are created in uh, customer engagement and the dual right uses, uh, is used to create the orders in FNO. Now the sales order are subsequently uh, processed and have some complex sales order validation scenario while some of them are met out of the box and few extensions or the developments are required to validate the sales order when it is getting created. Now of the sales orders are validated and confirmed it is sent to the warehouse for picking and packing and mostly individual shipments are planned consolidated shipments are also required for some customer and during the preparation of shipment asn should be sent to the external transportation systems and sub which means there is an integration here and subsequently the order is shipped and invoiced so just consider that this is your requirement or you can say the best uh, scenario which you are having now in your project before you come to the test uh, phase you would have uh, broken this particular scenario into the different requirements and then like a sales order creation and the validation the consolidation and sending the asn to your external transportation uh, system and then you would have performed the fit gap analysis on that and then you would have started the development you would have created the fdd and we have spoken about all these things in our previous uh, videos right now you it is a time to 
test all these things now how you are going to test this right now one of the important thing if you are aware and if you are following the series we spoke about that when you create this you also need to create the the business process flow for this so let's say this is how high level the process flow looks like so you are having the uh, order created then you have confirm pick uh, individual shipment or the consolidation and then you are shipping this and you are also sending the asn to your external uh, uh, system right uh, so and also here you have the data migrations and then you also have the integration here which has been highlighted here right so now let's move to this and then understand taking this as an example and if i am performing my different types of test i am doing a functional test or process test then what exactly i am testing in those tests considering this particular example now if i talk about the the functional uh, test which i am having here right so functional test is these are the some questions like by which you can define this uh, you can understand this test so what what is being uh, 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 in tested right so it is being individual function right so that has been tested who is testing functional consultant or customer smes and the testers so there can be a number of people but as a functional consultant uh, you are responsible to do this thing why it is uh, required this function test so to it is to verify the requirement so the if the customer has given the requirement uh, uh, then we are going to verify that where it has been tested either it is in dev or the test environments which you have it when it is done uh, it is done in the config and build build phase that we uh, already discussed and what tools you can use for this so you are using azure devops or asset if you want to use it now so this is the function test now if we go back to our uh, example which we just now discussed so how that is related to this function test what component of that example is uh, related to this so the testing of the development related to the sales order of validation a functional testing of interface with the transportation system the testing of configuration and setups that is for example the customer product pricing warehouse setup invoice payment processes and other module related configuration and the parameters so this will all these things will fall under the functional test in this example okay now let's move to the next one what we have so the next test which we have is the process test so process test is done by why what is been done we individually uh, test the business processes okay it can be automated or manual uh, who is done uh, so functional consultant uh, what we are doing here in the functional test we are validating the requirement whereas in the business in, in the process test we are validating the business process where it is done it is done in the test environment not in the dev environment when it is done the configuration and build and the tools are same so example of this the testing of the order to cash from sales order creation in c to the invoice and payment including the sales order validation integration with transformation system and updates to the finish module is your process testing right so that is the difference so now hope you understand the functional test and the process test the difference is in one you are validating the requirement in the next you are validating the entire process let's move to the next one the end to end test so what is done the end to end business process has been tested who is i think the functional consultant we do it in the integrated test environment uh, we validate the full business process so in this we also validate the full business process so in the in the process test we might do the process testing within uh, uh, the scope of that specific process which we are testing but in this we also consider the other Uh, supported business processes surrounding by this particular thing and then try to test end to end right and when it is done uh, it is done throughout the implementation and it is uh, an iterative approach okay so if we take the example of this order to cash which we just now uh, listed so test all the business processes in an environment which is integrated with external system so in our case the esn which we are sending it to the transportation system 
and end-to-end -end testing to order to cache the procure to pay record to report the business process along with the integration with the external test system of the transportation so that is your end-to-end -end test the third type which you will be responsible of the performance test it's a non-functional requirement validation so anything which we were testing till now was the uh, functional requirement validation basically you can say the product category but now whatever we test in the performance test, it's a non-functional so what are we testing uh, that if we are having a normal uh, hours in the business then how it is system performance is during the peak hours what is the system performance and the continuous loads and how it has been tested with what consideration the different bad jobs the integrated system the peak load scenarios and the ux, UX scenarios and who is doing this uh, so it is a combination of developer and plus the functional consultant so they are uh, mainly responsible for this and why it is to ensure the production performance tomorrow it should not happen that you decided that you tested your system with your let's say 100 invoice in a day and, and tomorrow if you are posting 500 invoice in the production and your production system is very slow where it is done it has to be done in a dedicated performance test environment and or the dev and test environment okay it should be a dedicated environment when it can be throughout the implementation when you have a right data and aligned to the other implementation milestones during the initial or the latest days what are the tools actually you, there are multiple tools which are available and which we will be talking in the future videos as well so there are some sdk the performance sdk virtual studio dmf is used third party tools are there so so you can use different types of tools which are available so the component test an example to validate the performance of invoice posting integration with the transportation day in day, day in life test with relative volumes across key business processes and not just to the prospect to uh, cas one so you process all the processes here the last one which is normally it is not i mean it is here it is not mentioned as a functional consultant but i feel like functional consultants are also responsible project at least so the regression testing is that throughout the project you do it and it is a never ending process. So what we test, the, so we rerun the test or to all the tests or the key business scenarios which we need to do it and when and why it is done to ensure the solution is still perform as expected after the change. So the changes can be, let's say you have done environment upgrade to new version or you have done a major, major code deployment or anything and where it is done it is done in pre-production or the test environments and when when any change is introduced and before production deployment you need to do the regression testing uh, there are different tools which you can use for it azure devops obviously there it there it is to but you also have the r set which you can use that data task automation so there are different ways of doing that but the R set being the one of the major tool from the Microsoft, uh, which you can use for this. And we will be talking about that, how it can be configured and how it can be used. So in this example, like testing key business processor with the new Microsoft update is available and needs to be deployed to the production. So that is where you will perform the regression testing, right? So that's it for this video and hope this helps you to understand the, the, the different types of the tests which you are responsible and also to understand the scope and then what you are testing and why you are testing and where you are testing right now in the next video uh, we will be uh, just uh, breaking this down now if I have to perform a functional test or uh, a process test or end-to-end -end test how I'm going to create my test script how I'm going to use my Azure DevOps and how I'm going to create my test plans and all these things. And then we will also talk about uh, the R set somewhere uh, so that we understand the entire uh, uh, test cycle as a functional consultant. So that's it for this video. Hope this is going to help you uh, in your projects and see you in the next one. Thank you.